Hello the pioneer viewers, as you know our agenda continues with Russia-Ukraine war. While the mutual clashes between the parties continue, the developments provide important clues about the course of the war. While the Ukrainian army's counterattacks continued, the agenda in Russia was quite intense. After the elections held in Russia, a new process began with Vladimir Putin becoming the head of the states again. The elections held in Russia were described as a shady by many experts and one of the most important factors in Putin's re-election is the elimination of the oppositions in Russia. Since there was no strong candidate against Putin, Putin received the majority of the votes of the people who went to the polls. The Russian opposition refused to be part of this by not going to the polls. In times of war, all kinds of crises can occur and the power at the helm of the state must be capable of turning crises into the opportunities. The state governs as a matter of the crates and rather than individuals. If you don't have a strong cater, you may experience significant setbacks in the governance process. It is well known that Russia had to deal with major problems after its invasion of Ukraine and initially aiming to quickly complete its mission in Ukraine and the Russian army faced a major obstacle. It was very difficult for Russia to maintain unity and solidarity during the war. And the Moscow administration, which had difficulties in finding soldiers to fight, also faced economic problems. On top of all this, the recent developments show that Russia is cornered. Groups opposed to Putin's administration and political style have joined the ranks of Ukraine. And with the arrival of new troops, the advance of the Ukrainian army had also accelerated. The fact that the Ukrainian army has recently intensively organized operations against the strategic targets attacks great attention. While important points belonging to Russia are the targets of the attacks, these attacks are getting Russia a lot of money. In recent days, an incredible operation was organized by the Russian rebels deep inside Russia. After the announcements of the operation, Kremlin officials were very concerned. Now, if you're ready, let's examine the latest developments together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on Russia-Ukraine war, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all of your comments on our videos. Please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us. And let's start if you are ready to pioneer reports. Russian rebel groups who recently launched an offensive with the Ukrainian army against Russian targets have completed another incredible operation. Thanks to their connections, the Russian rebel groups could advance into advanced region of Russia. The possibility have caused great concern, especially among Kremlin officials. Russian soldiers, who woke up to a new operation without even anticipating the next attack by the Ukrainian army, have been experiencing unrest in recent days. Russian volunteer fighters launched an offensive from Ukraine along the Russian border. Reaching within kilometers of an empty nuclear storage site, Russian rebel groups reaching areas deep inside Russia give the Ukrainian army a great advantage. The Freedom of Russian Legion, the Siberian Battalion, and the Russian Volunteer Corps strongly criticized Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion. Last week, they said that they had crossed into Belgorod and Kursk Oblast. In addition, the Siberian Battalion made a statement to social media on recent issues, and it said that Russian Liberation Forces had taken control of the administration building in the village of Korskovsky, and the resistance of the Russian army is decreasing day by day. The group carried out similar attacks last year, and Ukraine's intelligence service said that the times that this had led to the Russian forces evacuating stockpiles of nuclear munitions from the Belgorod 22 plant in Grivronsky district of the region. Ukraine intelligence is also working closely with Russian rebel groups. All the information obtained is being processed in details. The latest offensives by the Ukrainian-backed Russian rebel forces captured the village of town of Koroskovsky village in the Belgorod region. Both lines of advance from Kazinka and Gorokosovsky are located 10 miles from the depot. The groups, which have started to move closer to Russia's central cities, want an end to Putin's rules. And according to local sources, the number of supporters is increasing day by day. Ukrainian's military intelligence chief Kirillov Podanov said that the other day that Ukraine would help the anti-Kremlin militias in their operations on the Russian territory. 
Alexei Baranovsky, an official of the Russian Freedom Legion, said that the aim of the formations was to the march on Moscow and liberate Russia from Putin. The group, which is calling all Russian citizens to support them, continues its works. Developments on the Russian front are causing tense days in the Kremlin, and according to the information obtained from local sources, there is great concern about the growth of the opposition movements in Russia. After the suspicious murder of the Russian oppositionist Navalny in recent days, people in Russia are living in fear. The Putin administration have become so authoritarian that all men who attended Navalny's funeral were shocked by the official papers that suddenly arrived. All the men who attended the funeral have been conscripted into the Russian army. And the Ukrainian army continues to accept support from its allies. According to the information announced the other day, a new package is coming to the Ukrainian army. Greece will be buying new military equipments for Ukraine from the Czech Republic this year, as Kiev six vital sources of military equipments in the face of the Russian advances and the U.S. assistance. Athens will buy equipment from the Prague that will be directly transferred to Kiev, Greek media reported. According to the press, the two countries are negotiating the cost of the equipments before a formal agreement. According to reports, the equipment will focus on ammunition and air defense. Shells and supplies to protect the Ukraine's airspace have long been high on Ukraine's wish list from its supporters in the ongoing war. According to local sources, Greece will supply around 2,000 Zuni and guided 127mm air-to-surface rockets and just under 200 2.75-inch rockets. Athens will also provide around 90,000 90mm anti-tank shells, unspecified anti-aircraft weapons and 4 million rounds of ammunition. The reports also suggested that the Ukraine will receive 70 M11 4A1 towed quietsers, which will be key for artillery warfare in the muddy train. The packages are expected to be delivered to the Ukrainian army in the coming days. So, what do you think about the operations of the Russian rebel groups? What do you think are the chances of the successes for the Russian rebels? What do you think about the support to the Ukrainian army? And more importantly, what surprised you the most during the war? I care about your opinion, so please share it with me.